Nicholas is alive. Jace, I, I talked to him okay, for okay, hours. Okay, you just need to calm down. We start at the beginning, okay? Where did you see in, Nicholas? In Mexico, at a resort called Las Rocas. In, in Mexico? Are you yeah, sure? Yeah, Are I'm you not, sure I'm not there? making this up. Jace, Nicholas is alive, all right? He, he hurt his head and he doesn't remember and, and I'm afraid to tell him the truth. Why? Because I love him, Jace. I always will, and, and, and I don't want to find out that he can't love me back. Pry your hands up that million dollar check you got this morning and start spending, okay? This fundraiser will be worth every penny. Okay, look, not that I don't appreciate your generosity, Jax, but you, you had no intention of even telling me that anonymous check was from you until I forced you into it, so that pretty much means that you forfeit any say in how I spent it. Oh. Well, that's our Jax. Soul of generosity. Have you ever heard the expression of something seems too good to be true? It probably is. Look, I know you guys have issues, but the benefit is tonight, so unless you're here to help. Well, that's what I came by, actually. What can I do for you? If you want to help, Sonny, you can leave. I need to speak to my sister alone, so you can go ahead and come back if you'd like. Okay. Thank you. Don't expect me to leave on your command. What, Brandy? It's just a couple of sips. You need to calm down. All right. All right. So... Mm. Okay, come on. It's okay. It's okay. Sit down. Come on. Okay. Okay. I am not imagining Okay, things. okay. But you've had a huge shock, so we're just going to go through this one step at a time, okay? Okay. Nicholas had the accident, walked away. People think he fell into the river, right? He didn't. Then where was he? Mary Bishop's house. Mary, your friend, the widow. Yeah, yeah. Mary, Mary told Nicholas that he was her husband, Connor. And, and he thinks that, that he deserted from the Marines and, and she's hiding him from the military. Jason, I mean, she had, she had his clothes, his wedding rings, I mean, a whole, a whole life, a whole life, ready and waiting. I mean, Mary stole Nicholas, and she made him Connor. Okay, if this is true, all right, she's probably the one who put Nicholas's jacket near the river's edge. She wants everyone to assume that Nicholas drowned. Well, it worked, you know, I mean... All those times, all those times that, that, that I, I thought I saw Nicholas, I mean, he was really there. You know, I, that, that night when, when I drove my car off the side of the road right. and I thought Mary helped me. She didn't. Nicholas did. I mean, he carried me. He carried See, me all I knew, the way back I knew to the that house. she was lying to me about that. Does Mary know that you've, you've seen Nicholas? No. And, and see, he's not going to tell her either because he doesn't want her to worry that someone's going to turn him in for desertion. I, you see, you see, Chase, how, how perfectly Mary's lie works. See, Nicholas wants to hide. I mean, he thinks he owes it to her. Okay, but you know what? That is going to work to your advantage if this is true because Mary's not going to have any idea that you know the truth. I do with the truth what do i do with the truth i mean do, do, do i go up to nicholas and tell him that he has a family what a, a little sister a brother an aunt me i mean do, do i tell him that i love him more than anyone else in the world what you just gotta do what you you know what you think is Wait, right just, just don't, don't tell me that i should do what i think is best and that it's my decision please chase tell me tell me what you feel If someone walked up to you right now and said, sorry, big mistake, everything that they told you about the life you thought you had is a lie, right? You're, you're someone totally different. You've got a family who you've never heard of. You've, you've got a fiance who, who loves you more than anyone else in the world. What would you do? What would you feel? I'd want to run. I would hate the people who lied to me. And I would hate the people who just told me the truth just as much.
After all the times you called me a liar, it's kind of nice to know that you are one too. Hello, Sam. Jackson, you've been a, a jerk to me, and sometimes I've even deserved it. But what has Courtney done to you besides be Sonny's sister? Courtney and I are business associates and friends. Friends. Why are you lying about the check Jason donated then? You know what, Sam? Bust me, okay? Tell Courtney that Jason made the donation. I'm sure she'll be grateful. The two of them might even reconcile, which would be real inconvenient for you and your baby. I forgot I ever said anything. You know what? I mean, just listen, just... It, it, it's not a bad idea. Just, just hear me out. If Jason and Courtney get back together, they'll want to raise his child without you. So, he might even pay you off. <laughs> you know, I am so happy that Jason is the father of this baby, because if it were you, I wouldn't let you anywhere near my child. I remember how angry you were after the accident, and I never asked you why before. Now I need to know. Yeah, I had, I had brain damage, okay? And that's not necessarily what happened to Nicholas, Emily. God, Jace, I mean, could you, could you just tell me? Please. I mean, you smashed things, Jason. You fought with everyone. You know, when, when people tried to help you, you, you either screamed at him or... Or you, you walked out of the room. I mean, you drove a motorcycle inside the house. Yeah, well, that was a good day for me. Right, but you wanted people to be afraid of you. But you, you wanted them to leave you alone. See, you already, you already know all this stuff. No, but I never understood why, Jason. And, and I need to know if I'm going to reach Nicholas. Right? Why was it worse with the people who loved you? Because I didn't want to be around the memories, okay? Or the love they had for someone who was gone. I didn't want to hear a hundred times how much they needed me and know I could never be enough. I love you so much, Jason. But I don't want Nicholas to be the way you were. Angry and alone and vulnerable. Without his memory, Nicholas has no way of protecting himself. I mean, what, what if Helena finds him and convinces him that, that she's on his side? I mean, what, what if he turns his back on all of us and disappears? You know, anyone, anyone can lie to him. Anyone can take advantage of what he doesn't know. Does, does he seem different? What do you mean? Well, I mean, does he speak the same way he used to, you know, laugh at the same jokes? Or does he, does he seem slow, like he's, you know, trying to keep up or faking his way through things he doesn't understand? Um, well, it, it, yeah, except for the memory loss, I mean, Nicholas is pretty much the way he's always been, you know, very, very kind, polite, very, very articulate. Well, that doesn't sound like brain damage, okay, but you can't be sure until, obviously, a doctor checks him out, and I assume Mary didn't let him anywhere near a hospital. No. Do you know when he's getting back from Mexico? I, I think it's going to be pretty soon, because I, I, I know they don't really have a lot of money. Okay. What? Are you all right? No. But I'm better. And I just thank you so much for helping me through this. God, I just, I, I wish I could tell Lucky, you know? But I, 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 I know that he's going to go straight to Nicholas. Now, God, I mean, you know how frustrating it is to, to have to keep Mary's secret for her. I don't know why people think lying makes your life easier. It's the hardest thing anyone could ever do. I was thinking, as long as we're getting married, why not invite Jax, because... Hi. Hi, Emily. Did, did I just hear you right? Or are you, are, you get, are you getting married? Uh, yeah, to me. It was uh, a bad choice on both of our parts, and we both agreed to act like it never happened, but now, obviously, there's a baby involved. So we decided to, uh, just, you know, get married. Wow. Well, um, okay. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> I, uh, happen to know that, uh, Jason is a wonderful dad, and I'm sure that you're gonna be great, great, great mom, too. Thank you, Emily. You're actually the first person to wish us well. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, I, uh, love my brother, and, um, uh, I'm... Want whatever makes him happy. Have you set a date? No, no, not yet. We're, I am <laughs> adjusting to the whole concept of marriage. Still, you know. 
Well, if, if you need a, a witness or a bridesmaid or uh, someone just to show up and uh, think good thoughts, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm available. Thank you. Sorry, Emily. Jason, I need to talk to you. Charity benefit tonight? Yeah. Okay, Jack's gonna be there, okay? He's he's on the board. I need you to break into his apartment. What am I looking for? Anything you can find that I could use against him. Okay, I made you some uh, dinner. Got some chicken penne with some vegetables. Um, you know, you need all the protein you can get. Thank you. You look great. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go this, this thing for Courtney. I wish I could go with you. I mean, maybe you could hold me and we could. I don't know, dance close. We can, we, we, we can dance right here, if you want. So, Big Brother's getting married. Third time's a charm, right? What? Not at first... Brenda, and then Courtney, and now Sam. Emily, it's, uh... I mean, it's, it's different than, than with Courtney. Because it's for the baby. Yeah. Your baby. Uh, I'm its father, yeah. You know, Jace, it's... It's amazing how you're willing to do anything to give the people you love what they need. Emily, it's not like that. I'm, I'm getting what I need. Sure you are. You know, Sonny and Carly and the boys are happy. Uh, Sam and the baby are safe. The baby's gonna be loved. Everybody wins. Right? And if it means letting go of Courtney, then that's a small well, Courtney price and to I pay. But, but you never cheated on her. You know? And if it's important enough for you to lie about it and say it's true, then it's important enough for me to lie about it and believe it. On one condition. What? You do your best. You really try. Right? To be happy. Because no one deserves it more. Stop worrying about me, okay? I'm fine. <clears throat> Thank God. Because <laughs> I'd be a basket case if you weren't. I gotta go to work. You know, you're gonna be okay to get home? Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna sit here for a while and I'll let everything soak in. Okay, be careful. Okay, I should go. 